This is a welcome development. Governor Alex Oti calling on the attention of the United States to come invest in Abia State. So guys, we all know that this governor was recently in the United States. But apart from him traveling there, the U.S. itself has sent some of its delegation to come meet Alex Oti so that they talk on the way forward to develop Abia State. So guys, this is the working governor. This is the governor we are saying that other governors in Nigeria should emulate from him. Take a look at this. Governor Oti wants United States to support Abia, rebuild economy. Abia State's Governor, Dr. Alex Oti, OFR, has called on the United States government to assist his administration in its efforts to rebuild the economy of the state. Governor Oti said the American government can support the rebuilding of the economy of other states by promoting trade, investments, and playing in other areas of interest. The governor spoke on Wednesday when he received the political and economic section chief of the U.S. consulate in Lagos, Mr. Mike Evan, who was in Abia on a working visit with his team. So guys, Governor Oti, who took time to bring the U.S. diplomats up to speed with the performance of his government in the last eight months in office also highlighted a number of challenges confronting the state especially the business sector he enumerated poor power supply difficulties in assessing credits unavailable logistic support in the area of digital economy among others as some of the issues businesses in abia have continued to deal with so guys, Governor Oti said that with over 50,000 individual shoe producers, a large army of entrepreneurs engaged in garment productions, leather works, and various other small and medium enterprises and manufacturing concerns, Abia prides itself as a major trading and industrial hub in Nigeria. He regretted that the state has suffered setbacks in the past due to infrastructural decay, culminating in the shutdown or relocation of many businesses. So guys, he noted that some of the businesses that had relocated are gradually returning as his administration had in the last eight months embarked on the upgrade of critical infrastructure and sanitizing the environment to allow for the ease of doing business so guys in the past you all know that they have suffered quite some setbacks because of infrastructural decay you really cannot do much when infrastructure is not there there was that was why when they came they started pursuing the rehabilitation of infrastructure in particular roads drainage not forgetting security and in the last eight months they have been able to fix many many roads in Aba, which is also the industrial and trading hub of Abia state so guys elvin told governor oti that the u.s consulate in lagos covers the 17 states of nigeria adding that their mission was to seek ways to expand bilateral trade and investment and ensure prosperity between the united states and nigeria as you all know in the u.s consulate in lagos they cover the 17 southern states and their top job more than any other is to seek ways to expand bilateral trade and investments and expand shared property between our people so guys you all know that our people share a long history of partnership and that was highlighted by the visits of our secretary of state anthony blinken in nigeria a couple of weeks ago where he spoke very eloquently and strongly on the significance and importance of u.s nigerian bilateral relationship and our desire is to seek ways of expanding the relationship to build prosperity for our people that was what elvin said 
He also thanked God for Governor Oti for opening the doors of Abia State to them to talk about ways they can find opportunities to build shared property for their people. Adding, this is one message Secretary Blinken has been taking around the world. The Commissioner for Trade, Commerce and Industry, Dr. Chie Mezie Ukeebu, Senior Special Assistant to the Governor on Digital Economy, Chibozo Elizabeth Chijuki, and the Technical Assistant to the Governor, Charles Egon, we are present at the meeting with the American diplomats. So guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please, if you are new to this channel, do well to subscribe, like, and drop your comments below. See you in the next video. Talking about corruption, <coughs> I had uh, set up a forensic audit uh, as soon as I took, uh, took over last year in Abia. And um, so that there won't be any argument, I called in uh, one of the top three audit firms in the world. And not too long ago, they turned in their report. And some of the things in the report are frightening. So, some 9.3 billion naira was paid to seven contractors for contracts that were not executed at all up to today. Another 15.9 billion, almost 16 billion, was paid to 63 contractors with no supporting documents anywhere in the state. Another 12 billion naira was paid to two contractors for contracts that do not exist. Out of this figure, 10 billion naira was on September 25, 2020. And that is almost four years. Paid to some contractor for the construction of Abia State Airport. <laughs> we have spent time trying to locate the airport. <laughs> um, up to now, we have failed. In fact, one of my aides told me the other day that maybe we are using uh, native intelligence to look for the airport that we should seek artificial intelligence. <laughs> so as we continue to look for airport, we have also involved security agencies to help us search. And uh, so that's just an example of uh, what typically happens. And uh, when you juxtapose that uh, with pensions that we are lying unpaid for about 10 years and uh, salary areas, just one on this head in the 10 billion that was spent to build a non-existent airport was exactly the amount of money that our government used to take up the pension so areas. So you can see that Alex Oti is determined to change the southeast uh, Abia State to be precise. This man is working and he's so plain. He's so accountable. He has come out to tell the people that he didn't get into this position because he is hungry or he needs money. He just wants to see Abia work. And you can see what he has been doing. And in case you don't know, recently he exposed, you know, the money that have been used by that was used by the former administration in the name of building airports and other things. So many contracts that were awarded that were never, never, you know, worked on. And all this money, people keep asking and asking where 
ah, this, those money being kept. So guys, Nigeria remains a joke. We just pray that God will save us from all this. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.